Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. What are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Dosevi, Dosevi goes looking. Battles to win it back. Toulouse have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. And the weighted pass... ...tries to get it clear. They've played it short. That is terrific skill. Pumps it into the area. And through to the goalkeeper. And it's played forward. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. It has got through to him. Hoists it forward. He's got away. Back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Goes for goal! <laughs> well, it's the whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through. It's certainly not going to want to try. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Some first half thoughts. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Great goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Here's the start of the second half. Strasbourg playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. In with the challenge. Gradel. Forward it goes. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Very few chances to talk of Jim. Defense is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Strasbourg produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. So we have our breakthrough. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Tries to get it forward quickly. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Done very well to intervene. Kone. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. To lose are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hits one! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Strasbourg just have to run down the clock. So that's it, it is all over. Strasbourg hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0.